Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we talk about differentiation kinematics. Before we continue, you definitely should know how to differentiate simple expressions and you should be very familiar with differentiation. Kinematics is about how things move and so it's a really interesting application of differentiation. The displacement of an object is a key idea we need to know and the displacement represents a, a vector which describes an object's position relative to some point. So we've got a football here which is moving and at each point in time it's got a different position, it's got a different displacement. So imagine the ball was here uh, and we were measuring the displacement from point x. Uh, the red arrow will represent the displacement, that's how far, in what direction, uh, the ball is from the point. And then it moves to another point, so it moves to the, this point here, and the displacement is a red arrow again, and it's a different distance, but also a different direction, and that distance and direction is given by the displacement. The velocity of an object is a vector describing how fast an object is going and its direction of travel. So it's like the speed of an object, but also what direction the speed is uh, going in. The velocity can be positive or negative depending on if this object is going forwards or going backwards. And so uh, it is a vector because the direction is important. And then finally we've also got the acceleration of the object is the vector describing how much the object is speeding up or slowing down. If the acceleration is positive it means it's speeding up. If the uh, acceleration is negative it means it's uh, slowing down backwards. Okay, at each point in time the acceleration might be changing and acceleration is a vector because acceleration does have a direction. Okay, so a key idea that re uh, relates displacement, velocity and acceleration is that we can differentiate displacement to get velocity and velocity differentiates to get acceleration. This is really important application of differentiation so, let's look at an example. Let's say s of t was 5t squared. s of t is just our notation which describes displacement. And s is a symbol for displacement. And it's in brackets with t because it's like a, it's, uh, like a function of time. So it's written like it's using function notation. s of t is 5t squared. We can differentiate that to be v of t, which is 10t. So s of t differentiates to give the velocity. Again, you should know how to differentiate. So you should know that 5t squared differentiates to 10t. If we differentiate that again, we would get a of t is 10. Uh, again, 10t differentiates to 10. So displacement differentiates to velocity. Velocity differentiates to acceleration. We're going to look at an exam question now. So... Um, this is a typical GCSE, I GCSE exam question. Example, a particle is moving along a straight line. Point O lies on the straight line. The displacement of the particle at time t is given by the expression S of t is 2t cubed minus 4t squared plus 5. Where S is measured in metres from O and t is the time in seconds. There's five questions here, I'm going to go through them one by one individually. So part A says, find the particle's initial distance from point O. And the word initial here means when the time is zero seconds. Initial just means the start, so when time is zero. And so all we're going to do is substitute um, t equals zero into this equation here. And again, we're using the s of t equation because it was talking about distance or displacement. So S, uh, t is zero, so s of zero is two to the power zero cubed minus uh, four times zero squared plus five. Those first two terms will be zero, so you will just get s of zero is five. You can do that in calculator if you prefer. And it will be five meters, because displacement is measured in meters. Uh, and so you will need the units on the end. Remember to write 5 metres on the end. 
Question B says, find an expression for the velocity of the particle at time t. And so we have to remember that to find the velocity, we have to differentiate the displacement. So we take the displacement and we differentiate it. S of t is 2t cubed minus 4t squared plus 5. S of t differentiates to v of t. 2t cubed will differentiate by bringing the power down and taking 1 off the power. This will simplify to be 6t squared. Next, 4 and minus 4t squared will differentiate to be uh, this, and we take 1 off the power, and this will simplify to be 8t. The plus 5 on the end is just a number, and that just differentiates to 0, which we don't have to write, because if you've got a plus 0 on the end, we don't write it. And so the velocity is given by v of t equals 6t squared minus 8t. And that is the final answer for part B. Let's now look at part C. It says, find the times when the particle is at rest. And the key word here is rest. The word rest means it's not moving, which means that the velocity is zero. So we're looking for the exact moment when the velocity is zero. So we're going to make the velocity equation equal to zero. And so we get zero equals 6t squared minus 8t. We're going to factorise that to solve it. So we factorise out uh, 2t out of both um, the, uh, out of the expression. And this gives, gives us 0 equals 2t minus, uh, times 3t minus 4. Either the first part is equal to 0 or the second part is equal to 0. Which we need to solve now. So either 2t equals 0 means t is 0. Or 3t minus 4 is 0. We just rearrange that. 3t equals 4, divide by 3, and we get t is 4 thirds. And t is measured in seconds, time is measured in seconds, so always remember the s on the end to represent seconds. Part d it says find the expression for the acceleration of the particle at time t. Do you remember how to do this? You guessed it, yes, we have to differentiate velocity. We're going to differentiate 6t squared minus 8t. And we get a of t is equal to 12t minus 8. Again, all we did there was differentiate velocity to find the expression for acceleration. Part e, it says find the time when the particle is decelerating at 2 metres per second per second. Well, the key word here is uh, decelerating, and deceleration means backwards acceleration. So we're going to make the acceleration negative here. I just want to point out one more time how we got velocity and acceleration. We differentiated displacement to get velocity and we differentiated velocity to get acceleration. That is the key idea of this entire topic. Deceleration, as I say, means negative acceleration. So it's decelerating at 2 meters per second per second. That means negative 2 meters per second per second acceleration. So we're going to make the acceleration equal to minus 2. Because as I say, minus 2 is the acceleration because it's negative deceleration. I'm going to solve that by adding 8 to both sides. And I divide by 12. And I get t equals 6 twelfths, which is 1 half seconds. And so the time when the particle is deceleration at 2 meters per second per second is when t equals a half seconds. You could also write 0 0.5 seconds, absolutely fine. That's everything from today's video. I've now got a, some practice questions for you to try. I'd like to pause the video now and read through this question and see if you can figure out the answer. The car is moving in a straight line, point O is on the straight line. The displacement of the car from O at time t is given by the expression s of t equals 4t cubed minus 10t squared plus 8. We need to find an expression for the velocity and acceleration of the car. Find the times when the car is at rest. Do you remember what rest means? Find the time when the car is accelerating at 28 meters per second per second. And find the initial displacement velocity and acceleration of the car. Again, remember what the word initial means.
pause the video and try this yourself. It will take you quite a while, maybe 10 to 15 minutes. But when you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. How did you do? Let me know how well you did in the comments below this video. Thanks for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel and so you don't miss any future videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with your friends. Uh, I'm sure they would enjoy uh, some more revision practice. If you'd like to see more resources and revision resources, all of them free, go to advancedmaths.com uh, for more uh, free stuff. Thanks for watching and good luck in your exams.